Greetings, my fellow deviants. My name is Rose, and you're watching eSpot. New year, new me, new console. Slightly Mad Studios is working on a console that will give PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo a run for their money. Ian Bell, CEO of Slightly Mad, tweeted, The Mad Box is coming. This console will support most VR headsets and will run at 120 frames per second for VR gameplay. Exact specs have yet to be announced as far as hardware and software, but Bell expects early design builds to be revealed in four to six weeks. He also stated that they have multiple investors offering the required funding for them to see the product to completion. Hey, what's up? It's me, Jack Black. This is my new YouTube channel, Jablinski. It's gonna be bigger than Ninja. It's gonna be bigger than PewDiePie. So what's Jablin, Jables? It's PewDiePie! Did you guys know that Jack Black started his own gaming channel on YouTube? His channel name is Jablinski Games, and in 10 days, he already had more than 2.5 million subscribers, and he hasn't even posted a gaming stream yet. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues? Sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there. Just around the corner, and it keeps you going. City of Dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. 2019 marks one year closer to the highly anticipated release of Cyberpunk 2077. Here's what we know so far. It's a first-person action RPG. It's targeted for every console plus PC. The main setting is a bustling metropolis called Night City, and there are six districts within the city. CD Projekt Red has revealed the game is playable from beginning to end, but that doesn't mean it's ready. They'll be spending the next year or so perfecting every megapixel, and we can't wait. If you want to take a peek at what they've been working on, click the link in the corner for the 48-minute gameplay video. Yeah, it's rewind time. Yeah, if I control rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Okay, before we go any further, can we have a quick what the fuck moment for YouTube's year in review for 2018? Do the people who made that video even watch YouTube? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly suggest watching PewDiePie's reaction to it, and you can do so by clicking this link over here. We launched the Xbox Ambassador Program back in 2011. Since then, the community's passion and skills have blown us away. Ambassadors are some of Xbox's biggest fans, and the role they play in our community is vital. Whether they're welcoming new gamers, sharing their Xbox expertise, or celebrating the launch of a game or new product, Ambassadors take gaming to a whole new level. Every season, Ambassadors climb the ranks by completing missions that help make Xbox more enjoyable to the community, all while unlocking exclusive Xbox rewards. Getting to witness Xbox's biggest fans coming together and sharing their passion and love for gaming is my favorite part of the Ambassador program. Every Ambassador has made their own mark on the Xbox community. Are you ready to make yours? Unlock the ultimate achievement. Become an Xbox Ambassador. Let's talk Xbox Ambassadors. The Xbox Ambassadors program launched in 2011, but what is it? Ambassadors complete missions that are designed to better community engagement, and in return, they receive exclusive Xbox rewards. 
Ambassadors do things like stream on Mixer, welcome new Xbox members, and share their expertise with other gamers. It's like a challenge that each ambassador competes in to see who can engage with the community the most. Now, if you're thinking, wait a second, I already do those things, then head over to ambassadors.microsoft.com slash Xbox to see if you can get started and make it into the top 100 ambassadors for 2019. Oh. Everyone cheese. Okay, something I'm really excited about. I just got the Galaxy Note 9 and holy shit, this thing is incredible. My favorite feature so far is definitely the S Pen. I love taking pictures and this thing has a shutter function so you don't need a timer to take group photos anymore. Yay! I also love that it comes standard with 128 gigabytes of memory, a 4,000 milliamp battery, and a 6.4 inch screen. Do you have Amazon Prime? If so, you're probably aware that it comes with a Twitch Prime membership. If you didn't know, now you do. And if you're not a Prime member, maybe you should be. Last year, Twitch Prime members received more than $3,000 worth of games, so don't miss out on those free games this year. more out there, don't you? No one can stop death. <laughs> Blizzard. We can all agree that a lot of their fans were rather disappointed in them this past year, and others fear that the Activision Blizzard combo will continue to disappoint. Activision is totally comfortable selling mediocre remakes of Call of Duty, and rumor has it that Activision is pushing Blizzard to cut corners in similar ways. You know, like that reskinned NetEase Diablo they announced at BlizzCon? So far, Activision Blizzard has lost 7 million monthly active users, and the CFO Spencer Newman has left and gone to Netflix to hold the same title. Will they ever be able to recover from this and redeem themselves? I guess only time will tell. Rumor alert! The Witcher 3 for Switch? That's the newest rumor. And that's all it is. A rumor. For now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the first episode of eSpot for 2019. If you like what you've seen, click that thumbs up button, 
hit subscribe, and if you want to be extra and support our Patreon, click the link in the description and we'll give you a shout out on the next episode of eSpot. Be sure to check out our Instagram for sneak peeks of our up-and-coming game, Reverie, and as always, stay devious.